something about me that will probably surprise exactly no one is that I am a massive skeptic when it comes to pretty much all paranormal, supernatural, cryptid, etc. things. I don't believe in ghosts, I don't believe in like cryptids, aliens, um, that's a different discussion, I will cover that later, but aliens as seen in media, I don't believe in those. However, I am a very big fan of all of the, like, the whole ghost hunting genre stuff. So, like, BuzzFeed Unsolved and what Watcher's doing right now and, like, Sam and Colby. I'm a big fan of that. I think it's very interesting. Like, the, like, stories and lore behind all of these haunted places. And I also, like, enjoy seeing grown adults scared shitless. Um pretty much voluntarily, so I'm a big fan of that. I do love watching all of the, like, ghost hunting videos, even though I don't believe any of the things captured is any substantial proof of ghosts. I think pretty much all evidence can be explained away as coincidence or... Small dick energy. Um, coincidence or, like, other rational explanations. I also, lots of things just don't make sense about, like, ghosts and, like, if ghosts are real, lots of the things that are being claimed just wouldn't make sense. So let's kind of talk about that, I guess. For example, um, a bunch of the equipment used all over for ghost hunting, it just, like, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, like, scientifically. So, for example, this is a spirit box, and it's allegedly used to communicate with spirits. So, apparently, it, like, scans through, like, a ton of radio ch um, channels super, super fast, and if words come out, it is the ghosts communicating those words through the radio waves. So, that's, like, sketchy at best for me, proof, but... How do you know that ghosts can manipulate radio waves? Like, who said, like, you, you obviously didn't talk to a ghost, and the ghost said, hey, we can manipulate radio waves and use that for communication. Like, that's obviously didn't happen. So how do you know ghosts can communicate through radio waves? There is, it's an unfalsifiable claim, because you can't say that ghosts can't communicate through radio waves, because, like, you can't prove that ghosts exist, so you can't prove that they don't, that, that they can communicate through radio waves, but you can't prove the opposite. So, it's unsubstantiated claim. You just, someone you just said, ghosts can communicate through radio waves, here's a device that allows that to happen, and there's no proof or evidence behind the fact that ghosts can even communicate through radio waves. Like, how do you know that? Same thing with, like, EMF readers or electromagnetic frequency readers. Like, um, all objects put off at least low levels of EMF frequencies. Like, humans uh, emit infrared radiation, so that can be detectable by an EMF reader. But how do you know ghosts do? And how do you know that ghost EMF is different from, like, human EMF or chair EMF, like, how, how do you know that that's a ghost? Like, you can't prove that there's a ghost setting off this EMF, because everything puts off EMF. Same thing with thermal imaging. So this is actually from a Sam and Colby video at the Conjuring house, and it supposedly shows, like, a little boy in this, like, green square here. And this one actually makes, like, biologically and, like, scientifically, this one doesn't make sense because it is showing that the figure is warmer than the background. And with humans, that makes sense because human metabolism and like biological processes and cellular activity creates heat as a byproduct. So human beings would show up as warmer than the surrounding environment because we are producing heat. We are making our own energy, which gives off heat. However, Ghosts do not have a body, they do not have a metabolism, allegedly. Like, um, go ghosts, ghosts don't have a body, they don't have metabolism, so therefore they should not be physically capable of creating heat. 
So let's just say, for the sake of argument, that ghosts do exist. They are like the spirit, energy, form, whatever. However, since they are not capable of making their own- Fuck off! <laughs> they are not capable of making their own energy because they can't eat, they can't do metabolism, so they would have to absorb energy from outside sources, such as, like, humans or, like, technology, like, phones and stuff, as they are hypothesized to be able to do. So since ghosts would not be able to create their own energy, they have to absorb it from outside sources in an endothermic reaction. An endothermic reaction basically means it is absorbing energy, but it, rather than putting off heat, like producing energy, it absorbs heat. So the ghost would have to show up as colder than the surrounding area because it is absorbing energy from the area. So it should be blue or purple and not yellow. So even if I did believe in ghosts, this would not be a ghost because it just scientifically does not make sense because ghosts are like should not be able to be capable of putting off heat because they need to absorb energy, which makes it appear colder. So a lot so many things just don't add up with ghost hunting. Like most of them boil down to, okay, but how do you know that they can do this? For example, manipulating emotions, making you feel weird or angry or violent or whatever. How do you know that the ghost is making you do that? Because how do you know that ghosts are capable of doing that? Same thing with them, like, moving objects or slamming doors. It's like, ghosts don't have any corporal form. They don't have any mass. If they did exist, they would just be pure energy, which is- and pure energy is not capable of picking up, like, a ball or something. And same thing with like the energy absorption thing. How do you know that ghosts can absorb your phone battery life and that's why your phone died because the ghost is stealing your battery life? How do you know that they're capable of doing that? Also, why are ghosts all from like these specific time periods? Like people die all the time. Why are there no caveman ghosts? Why are there no 2015 ghosts? Like, why are they all from like just like this, you know the time period, the very specific time period that we're up. My I almost died. <laughs> Where all of the ghosts are from. Why are they only from that? Why are they all like 50 to 100 to 200 years old? Like, that doesn't. Why are there no new or very old ghosts? So, yeah. Lots of things don't add up. Lots of things don't make sense. And while I am a big fan of watching the ghost hunting stuff, at best, I think it's coincidences and just un like they're things that are unprovable claims. At worst, um, pseudoscience and just pure bullshit.